All right, so I kind of want to talk about how this idea even happened. Um, basically, my f- uh, a week ago, my friend, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but a week ago, my friend, you know, he was, he got a little tired of swiping left and right on Tinder because he was like, man, this thing takes like 50 minutes, you know, to go through all the likes for your day. And he was like, man, I wonder, you know, uh, if there's some like AI out there, some sort of an app that just like looks at the girl's face. It's kind of it's kind of mean, but it looks at the girl's face and tries to, I guess, look at the symmetry, maybe the eyes, maybe I don't know what, and figure out whether or not you know whether or not the girl is you know pretty or or whatever. And I kind of laughed it off, and I was like, yeah, a good one. And you know, he kept <laughs> he kept swiping, and then I, you know, came home, didn't think much about it, and uh, I don't know, a week a week a week later basically he you know i i thought about this idea again and i was like dude that's actually a pretty smart idea so the first thing i did is i went to google and i looked up um i looked up uh uh ai face hot or not and i found this site here hotness ai something and this is part of why i'm making this video because i feel like this this thing is not going to work soon and this is why and well there was a button here i don't know where i went but there was a button here where you can submit a picture and they give you a rating right so all these people submit a picture and it gives you a rating so i was like man you know that was kind of a dead end until i looked into the page source or sorry no not the page source I look uh, I went inspect element I went into the sources and I found out that they're using this app script and in their app script when you upload a picture it actually sends a form data it attaches picture to this form and it sends to this address and then if it's successful here if it's successful it um you get back some sort of data and they round it and then they tell you the number add marker basically uh between one and ten it tells you how hot you are and it says this text so i thought man you know maybe i should try this out it's the guy left his api key right in here just kind of dumb so i made my own little site just refresh this and i download a picture of some girl like off of google And yeah, as you can see, it works. It gave me 10 out of 10. So that was my first step to see whether or not I can replicate this, uh, this what basically the site does in, a very, in very simple terms. And the code for this was very straightforward. It was uh, just, you know, you have your URL, the same one. And basically the same thing. You upload a picture and it just, sorry, uh, yeah. It, it posts it and on success, it grabs the number and it just displays it. The next step was to take this and actually write a Tinder. Um, yeah, to write a, like a thing that would work on Tinder, which is a bit more challenging because in Tinder, you don't have a picture um, on Tinder you have this complicated thing of just a bunch of classes and divs and this picture is actually a background image so if you look through my code i look for things with background image and specific card size and then i do some hacking or okay hacking i basically yeah i try to extract the url um and then I do this thing where I get it as a blob object and then I convert it to a file object from the URL. So as you can see, I, I actually, I get the picture right here. I get the picture in one Ajax call and then the other Ajax call, I, you know, this picture is transformed to form data. And then I do the same thing I did on this 
on this little sketchy website where I attach this picture and I actually send it to that rating service. And so let's let's see this in action. Let me reload Tinder just in general. And one more thing is I have to use this cross domain thing that allows me to uh, communicate with that rating service. But anyway, that doesn't doesn't matter. So right now it's fresh. I can't do anything. Um, I've got this beautiful girl over here. Uh, let's see. Essentially, just grab this. Or yeah, let's grab this first. This is the setup. And then we grab this function. So we're declaring all these functions and stuff in the console. So now if we type in perform rate. It actually swipes for us. Let's, do it. let's try it again. Let's see here. Ooh. Nice. I'll just swipe. I'll swipe on that. Uh hit that an eight seven black so I'm gonna find a face it tends to be very nice to people this algorithm as you can see it's not too judgmental but sometimes you do get you know those Yeah, so it's kind of interesting how it works. Wow. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, as you can see... But yeah, you guys, you guys get the the basic idea. I'm not too sure exactly how their algorithm works. I just thought it'd be a fun idea to write like a little sort of hack, I guess, in the sense you can say that. Yeah, so I guess you can read about their deep learning. Oh, it's a Wikipedia article. You can read more. I just didn't really care to. I just kind of wanted to like get a little demo of this going. So yeah, just out there for the world. And uh, yeah, the link to the script is going to be in the description. If these guys see it, they're probably going to take down their API key. But that's a lesson for them. Or I guess, I don't know. I'm not really profiting off of this. So yeah, if they see it, they might take it down. And it won't work anymore. But, heck, you know, while it works, it works. <laughs>